Over the last few weeks, my special helpers from the Duck Collection have been helping me teach you about the different fruit of the Spirit we read about in the Bible. And this fruit of the Spirit, it describes the way God helps us behave towards one another so that we live our lives the way God wants us to. And today is the last one. Today we're thinking about self-control. You might have heard of the Incredible Hulk. He's a comic superhero. His real name is Dr. David Banner, but following an experiment which went wrong when his pulse rate rises above a certain level, which is normally when he's angry, he turns into the Incredible Hulk. And when I was younger, there was a TV series about the Hulk. And David Banner would always say every week, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. And sure enough, when he got angry, which he did every week, he turned into the Hulk. And often in the series, he would use this power to fight crime. But we know we're not really like that, don't we? Most of the time, we're not as good as we might be when we're angry. We say the wrong things, we hurt people, we might hit our brother and sister. And we're not very nice. And it's not a good thing to get angry really easily. So one way in which we might need self-control is to keep our temper. But we've also had to learn a lot about self-control over the last few months. For a while, we were told we had to stay at home and only go out if we absolutely had to. And many of us weren't able to go to work or school and we had to stay in the house. And even now, most of us are told that we, when we're in shops or with other people indoors, we should wear a face mask. And this is because of the coronavirus, which we have heard all about in the news. And this virus can make people very sick. But it's not always easy to spot. It's not like my spotty duck. You can't always tell if someone has the virus because they don't get spots with coronavirus. You might have a new persistent cough. You might have a runny nose. You might lose your sense of taste and smell. But apart from the cough, we might not notice those things about other people. And sometimes they might not even know themselves. They feel perfectly okay. But if they had the virus, they could still give it to someone else. And so first we were asked to stay at home. And now we're asked to wear masks when we're in shops or when we're on the tube. But nobody can actually force us to do those things. You know, we might get into trouble. But if we insisted, I'm going out or I'm not wearing a mask, nobody could make us do differently. But most of us do it because we want to keep ourselves safe and others safe. So even if we didn't like the mask or we didn't want to wear it, we do. And when we do that, we're using self-control. And there are other ways we practice self-control too. Some of us might like to go to the beach or we might go somewhere sunny and warm for our holidays. We might like to go sunbathing. But when you go sunbathing, you have to practice self-control. You wear suntan lotion to protect you from the sun. You try not to spend too much time lying out in direct sunlight. You stay in the shade and you keep drinking water to keep you cooler and stop you getting hydrate dehydrated. But nobody can make us do those things. But if we don't, we cause ourselves all sorts of problems. We might get sunburnt or even get sunstroke and that would ruin our holiday. We might make ourselves quite ill in the future. And so we do those things to protect ourselves. And when we do, we're again practicing self-control. Or maybe when you're on that beach holiday, you might like to go scuba diving. And so we wear the right equi equipment. We put on goggles, we put on a snorkel mask. Now you might not think of that as self-control, but if you want to get the most out of snorkeling, we, use, we need to use them whether we want to or not. 
Because without the goggles, we wouldn't be able to keep our eyes open without hurting them. And you wouldn't be able to see all the fish swimming around under the water. And without the snorkel, we wouldn't be able to breathe and we wouldn't be able to stay underwater for very long. So we may not want to wear the goggles and mask. We might not like them. We might not find them comfortable. But if we want to do snorkeling, we accept, well, it's just something you've got to do. Otherwise, you wouldn't enjoy it as much as you should or you wouldn't get as much out of it as you should. So we practice some self-control and it makes things better for us. Or take a taxi driver. When you get into a taxi and say, I want to go to the Houses of Parliament, you can't make the driver take you there, just like you can't make a tube driver stop at every station. And true, they could get into trouble and nobody would want to use them and they wouldn't last very long in the job if they didn't. But they still couldn't be forced to do it. If they want to do the job, they exercise self-control. So there are lots of ways we exercise self-control in life. But there are other ways in which we all do it. Sometimes we're tempted to be greedy and we want to keep everything for ourselves. But we know the right thing to do is share. And sometimes we're really angry and we know it will make things worse if we start shouting and call people names. Or sometimes we're tempted to tell lies and it's really hard to tell the truth, but we know God wants us to be honest. And when we do the right thing, we're practicing self-control. But God doesn't ask us to do these things because he likes to boss us around. God knows it's better for us and for those around us if we live the way God wants us to. God's ways are better than our ways. They're the best ways to live. But it's not always easy. But God doesn't leave us alone to do it. If we ask him, God sends his Holy Spirit to us, as we've been hearing about in the last few weeks. And the Holy Spirit encourages us to choose the right path, even when we're tempted to choose the wrong one. The Holy Spirit helps us have self-control. And in the same way as God can help us be good, kind, loving and faithful and all the other things we've heard about in recent weeks, God can help us to develop self-control. And this can help us, but also make us better friends to those whom we meet. Let's pray. Father God, we admit we don't always want to do the right thing. Sometimes we are tempted to make bad choices. Help us to recognise the right thing to do and give us the self-control to do it. Amen.